Hi guys, it's Vlogger Bling here and today I'm going to show you how to do a Grecian goddess look. So I'm going to show you first on their hair. It's a really easy, simple, slick back hairstyle and this will go really well when we add the foil on the side of the head. It shouldn't take too long, it should only take you about maybe under 10 minutes. Uh, what I usually do first is spray my hair with um, water and then obviously just brush it all out, all the knots to get that really slick and smooth look in the hair. And once you've brushed out all the knots out, I will add the paste and gel. Now this is a little bit messy part of the hairstyle, uh, but it's what keeps the hair keeping nice and sleek, like you've just come out of a swimming pool, it's quite sexy, but um, it's really nice and really simple to do. As you can see, it's just working the product into the hairline and working it down to the back of the head just because that's where it should stop. It shouldn't stop halfway, it should stop just below the neck at the back. And once the gel is setting, I uh, just give it a quick little brush and then I usually get my hairdryer and just really kind of work in the sides to set the sides in of any flyaways, but also any movement um, that can happen, especially if you're going out and having a good night out, dancing on the dance floor. You don't want any movement at all and you don't want it to come and fall apart because that will ruin everything. So, um, but once once you put the hairdryer in, it sits pretty tight and it's pretty. Now I'm just gonna add primer to my skin uh, as a base for the look underneath the foundation. I use Napoleon Purse's Autopilot Primer. Um, I actually love it, I've been using it for years and I find it's quite cool and calming. It's got a bit of chamomile in the skin, so it's quite fresh. And then I use Napoleon's uh, Light Diffusing in Look 4. In the foundation, I actually used a loose eyeshadow in a shimmery soft gold tone. It's number nine from Napoleon Purtis and uh, what it creates is quite a nice dewy, quite sheen look because we want to create this beautiful glow coming in from her skin as a Grecian goddess would. With the eyebrows, I used my favorite little tool that I've just started working with is Yoohoo Glue. Now, I use this to work the consistency in the eyebrow to hold the shadow in the brow. Just brush out with a little comb. Once I've done that, I just put that same eyeshadow that I used in the foundation, the soft, goldy, warm tone eyeshadow number nine Napoleon Purtis and I've just used that just on my eyes quite thickly now for the eyes I'm using a teal color from Napoleon Purtis uh, and that is to, to create quite a nice winged eye look with the teal And then I also put a purple, light purple underneath the eyes and I actually put it on the eye socket on top of my eye uh, as well to create this quite big eyed, sexy, very fresh, very mysterious kind of look to the eye. Uh, I just went with it. I thought it quite, looked quite nice, it opens up the eye more being that the effect we're going to create around the, the face with the foil is going to help the 
bring the eyes to be really open. I just add also a little tiny bit of glitter in the corners of the eye, just near the nose, just to create more of an open look. Next I put on some light tan, spray tan in a can, uh, very lightly around my face as again we want to create this beautiful bronze Grecian. Now it's time for the fun stuff. So um, I ordered these little foil pieces, they're actually nail art for nails. Um, they're quite fine and very very delicate can even almost dissolve in your hand um, so it's a very little tricky um, thing to use so how I place it onto the face is I place it on with uh, glitter glue so with the glitter glue I find it just sticks onto the skin really well and um, it holds throughout the night So I actually ordered the foil on eBay, it's quite cheap, you shouldn't have to pay more than maybe $10 for about 12 pots and um, yeah so I found that I got a lot from one pot for one side of the face so um, I got, if you know, if you want to do the whole head, go do the whole head if you've got the patience for it but um, I ended up just using the two pots to do this look. I found also um, it, this took the longest in the makeup and the patience of just ripping it up, putting in the hair, dissolving in my hand, putting more in my hair and placing it. But when I did place it into the skin and the hair, I left it kind of sitting like it was a bit ruffled. So when it when you get a close look in the photos and, and in the video when I do I do a close up, you'll see that it's kind of lifted on the skin, so it creates this really cool look that it's just like you know it just sits there. And... And now it's time to bronze. So I'm using my favorite new bronzer I've just gone all out with in buying. It's a Tom Ford bronze, number one. So it's got a bit of a sheen to it. So I just place it on the cheeks and around the forehead and I place it around the neck. And then now I'm placing some individual lashes underneath the eye. I'm not putting on top of the eye because I found this kind of look would look really cool and angelic almost for the eye. So I just place three on each side and you know if you want to do, if you don't have long lashes definitely recommend maybe putting on a rim lash on the top rather than myself I'm just using I've got quite long lashes so I'm just using my favorite mascara from Lancome and when I use mascara I tend to push forward out rather than outwards I push forwards um, so it creates more of a longer look for the lash and then I just added a Chanel blush my favorite little Chanel blush which I will put what I use I can't really remember what I'm using right now and the blush bl what the blush is called um, but I'm using also now my favorite lip liner from Mac it's like a pinky goldy tone and then I'm using a Napoleon lip gloss from his goddess range it's quite appropriate actually to use Napoleon being the Greek man himself so the Greek goddess makeup works well and there you have it my Grecian goddess look